books. She's made tons of her DVDs and book. Whip your way to tighter buns. <laughs> Happily married, so she swears to her 60-year-old stud. Till stepdaughter came downstairs and found Brooke all covered in his blood. <laughs> if Brooke took a plea, I'd have her out in three to four. But she claims she did not kill him. Well, did she? Let's watch some more. <laughs> But it's more than just a workout, it's a defensive weapon, too. Simply wrap it round your assailant's neck and pull till he turns blue. You can also use a patented and handle ribs to shatter your attacker's spine. And all four three small demons of 1999 will have him placed in shape if you get free from a guy. to win, but I don't speak MTV. Though no, it won't help her own defense, she may listen to her peers. Go and place a little sense in the space between her ears. Not now. I want her whipped into shape. If there's a brain in that hair, tell it that I am the key. It's a plea or the chair. See, when I talk to her, I get neither plea nor plan nor alibi to go from our defendant's tape. I want her whipped into shape. To the jail. All right. Hit it! All right, ladies. Just because we're in Boston Women's Correctional Facility does not mean we can't become the best that we can be. Here we go. Circle, circle, under, over, through, around. Circle, circle, under, over, through, around. Circle, circle, under, over, through, around. Circle, circle. Wyndham, if we can't hear an alibi, you should accept the plea bargain. And admit to something I didn't do? But for the plea bargain, you'd get out in a couple of years. That sounds reasonable, right? Reasonable to do time for my husband's killer. Not really. She's tough. <clears throat> Yo, sister. <laughs> Yo, not related. <laughs> Look, I need a defense team that knows I'm innocent. Get out of here, all of you. Guard! Is a girl with four 
Leave this legal team and get me an alibi. You're zero for two. All right, else, let's go. Field trip's over. Back to work. Except you two. I'd rather not see Ratty Corduroy or Legally Blonde again today. Sorry, I don't I need you to be sorry. I need you to tell me the alibi. I can't because I gave Brooke my word. Having an alibi isn't the only way to win this case. No, but it sure would help. Work with me. We can free Brooke the right way, the noble way. This isn't some lifetime original movie, Elle. I'm not concerned with nobility right now. I'm more interested in saving Brooke's life. No, you're not. You're more interested in impressing Callahan. Well, he is my boss, and if I impress him, he promised to make me associate. By jeopardizing your client's trust in our integrity? <laughs> I... Well, when you put it like that... I mean... Exactly, you butthead! My word means something, and I know yours does too. And no one's called me butthead since the third grade. Maybe not to your face. <laughs> oh, come on, let's... Let's get out of here. Why do you always have to be right? I don't have to be. When I'm with you, I just am. <laughs> uh, 
If you want to impress Callahan, I can help. Okay, how? Listen, I, I love your scruffy vibe, but Casual Friday is so not a Callahan's vocabulary. And you have to look the part if you want to get ahead. GL, didn't your mom ever teach you something about not judging a book by its cover? She did, and books with tattered covers stay on the shelf. Thanks a lot. Emmett, this isn't a perfect world. You think I haven't been judged my whole life? Think it wasn't a good idea to make Navy my new pink? No, that was a good idea. I know. Where exactly are we going again? You trust me, don't you? Of course. Then you don't stop now. What is this place? It's called a department store. <laughs> it's it's beautiful. <laughs> First, a deep breath. Take it all in. Feel all those halogens warming your skin. <laughs> Smell how they pump in pure oxygen. See they care. Love. Excuse me. <laughs> Love, the new fragrance by Chanel. Oh, no thank you. I know you're scared, nevertheless. Think of the people you want to impress. Swallow your pride for me, just not yes, and prepare. Cause something's in the air. I think it's love. Exactly. Here you'll become what you're supposed to be. You think you can.
might be a bit too much. Classy lawyer, I think it is. <laughs> when the jury people see those nails, they'll know they can trust you. Which is more than my team is doing. They're all over me to give up Brooks' alibi. Including your friend, Emmett. Well, he is on the team, too. Yeah, in more ways than one. I see the way he looks at you. Paulette, he is just my friend. Right, and I could use a friend like that. I've got a package. Paulette, not a fonte. This is my new roots and the first stop of the day. Kind of cool karma, huh? <laughs> All righty then. <laughs>
book. I just see the bend and snap in front of him and nothing. Clearly, he must be gay. He goes to the Gashare CD in the pool house once. Oh. Now, this guy on the stand? <laughs> Elle, that's crazy. You can't build a legal strategy on the bend and snap. We need a defense, <laughs> not a dance move. So you think he's purged himself? Huh? But you can't prove it. If you're wrong, you look desperate and homophobic. But if she's right, and I know I am. There, right there. Look at that tan, the tan of skin. Look at the killer sheep he's in. That slightly stubbly chin. Oh, please, he's gay. Totally gay. I'm not about to celebrate. If my trait could indicate a totally straight expatriate. This guy's not gay or saying he's gay. That is the elephant in the room. Well, it's relevant to assume that a man who wears perfume is automatically radically gay. But look at his cloth and crispy locks. Look at his silk translucent socks. And there's the eternal paradox. Look what we're seeing. What are we seeing? Is he gay? Of course he's gay. Or European? Victory to Al. To Emmett. 
and I can't believe I'm saying this. Tell! Tell! Oh, yeah! Since when did finely tuned Kadar qualify as legal victory? Oh, without that game dog, I wouldn't be celebrating with champagne. We'd be dead in the water. Elwood's trusts her gut, and has shown more legal smarts than most on my staff. She won this round, making her a good lawyer, and while we'd still love to hear that alibi she got, by keeping it, she never compromised the client's trust, making her a great one. Which is more than I can say about you, Warner. Be useful, go get me a coffee. <laughs> But we're drinking champagne. Let's get. <laughs> Everyone else, please go home and get some rest. I need you all sharp tomorrow morning. Oh, Miss Woods, can I have a word? Of course. I'll catch up with you in a second. <laughs> and thank you, Professor Callahan, for what you said before. You meant a lot. You deserved it. But don't tell the other law students I said so. I have a scary reputation to uphold. Uh, don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. But really, I appreciate this opportunity to work with you. I've learned so what much. What you've learned isn't the point. Please. You have instincts. And instincts, legal or otherwise, can't be taught. Trust your instincts. <gasps> I thought you were smarter than that. Is this the only reason you gave me an internship? It's been nice working with you, Miss Woods. You can show yourself how. Hello, Marilyn. Looks like you'll make a partner now. You really earned it. Warner, shut up! Take back the books and pack up the clothes. Clear out the room and drop off the key. Leave with what's left of my dignity. Get in the car and just go. Chalk it all up to experience. They said I fail, but I disagree. Who could say then where my path would be? Well, now I know. Back to the sun, back to the shore. Back to what I was before. Back where I'm known. Back in my own very small apartment. Laugh with my friends when I arrive. We'll drop the top and just drive. That's fine with me. Just let me be legally one. There she is, intern of the year. Thanks for your help and for all you've done. Thank you for treating me decently. Maybe someday you can visit me. Give me a call, say hello. Why, where are you going? Sorry, I'm letting down everyone. What brought on this? Your best with a hopeless case. That's ludicrous. You are the best thing about this place. Well, you should know. He what? He kissed me. He fired me. He made it very clear I don't belong. He's wrong. We'll fix it. And we'll fight it. Is. There's no reason for me to stay. What about love? I never mention love. The timing's bad, I know. But perhaps if 
played made it more clear that you belong right here. You wouldn't have to go. Cause you know that I'm so much back to the shore. Back to the shore. Back to what I was before. I should have told you before. Lie on the beach, dream within reach. Don't stray beyond. We both know you're worth so much gold. I want you to stay. It's not up to me. Just let me be legally blind. I need you to stay. Staying with me at the hospital? Well, trust me, the pleasure was all mine. <laughs> well, I should be getting back to my room now. Duty calls. <laughs> no. <laughs> Duty calls. All that, and he has a job. Okay, come on, Rufus, it's time for your manicure. <laughs> Paulette, I just came to say goodbye. What? Goodbye? I'm going back home to California. California? Why? I'm going back to where I make sense. I'm not making any right now. Honey, what happened? All this time I thought I was proving myself and making a difference. But it turns out I'm just one big blonde joke. And that's all anyone's ever going to see. That's not what I see. Vivian, we girls have to stick together. Maybe Warner saw a blonde who was sleeping her way to the top, but all I see is a woman who doesn't have to. I used to pray for the daily. Swore up and down you did not belong. But when I'm wrong, then I say I'm wrong. And I was wrong about you. So let's not. You're in the 
head today. Attorney to supervise, which without me, she does not. Ah, uh, yes, she does. I'm licensed, and I'll gladly supervise. I tell you, Will. You work for me. Remember? No, I work for myself. And I don't have to hit on interns, Professor. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy prison, Miss Wheeler. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. You didn't think I was just actually going to let you go. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Woods, any day now. You may proceed. Call your first witness. We call Chutney Wyndham to the stand. Oh my god, PPP. Total tragic. Karma. <laughs> Miss Wyndham, what was your relationship to the deceased? He was my father. And did you actually see his murder take place? No, but I was in the shower. But when I got out, Brooke was standing over my father's body, drenched in his blood. Oh, oh boy. We're screwed. Don't listen to him, Ellie. You're fine. Keep going. Miss Wyndham, on the day your father was murdered, did you see anyone suspicious hanging around? Suspiciously hanging around my shower? No. Before that. I was out getting a point. And then you came home and took a shower? Yes. I was in the shower. Your Honor. I would like to go to the bathroom. Should she have done that before the murder trial? <laughs> I mean, I would like us to all go to the bathroom together. Oh, why do girls always do that? <laughs> I mean, I would like everyone to return to the bathroom where this alleged shower took place. I'll allow it, Miss Woods. Corby can be at the scene of the crime, but I hope she's not wasting my time. <laughs> Now, what 
Thou canst not then be false to any man. I believe this statement best applies to a woman, a blonde woman. For the past three years, she taught me and showed us all that being true to yourself never goes out of style. Ladies and gentlemen, your valedictorian, Elle Woods! <laughs>
else and not think about anything else. Yeah, so. Oh, great. 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 Great.